Our founder, Abbot Frowen, when he was looking to build the Abbey Church after the completion of the West Wing of the Monastery in 1880, opted for the Romanesque style, surprisingly. His experience was Swiss, uh, Swiss monasteries, German monasteries, yet he opted for the Romanesque style, even though his experience would have been the Baroque style. Why? Because he felt the Romanesque style would best exemplify the monastic value of simplicity. And that was one of his goals in an abbey church, a dignified church with a noble simplicity. The cornerstone of the abbey church was laid in 1883. Construction began. Other priorities, namely, for example, uh, the beginning of our school here, took precedence. And construction was halted and did not resume until 1889. Those intervening six years, Abbot Frowen was busy fundraising so that we could get more funds to continue building the church. He steamboated over to Europe and got donors there, Swiss monastery, to help fund uh, the monastic church. Construction began again in 1889 and was completed in 1891. The Abbey Church was originally dedicated May 10, 1891. Within a couple years, a tornado hit the property and hit what was then a new church, did significant damage to the Abbey Church in the summer of 1893. At that point, Abbot Frowen opted for adding new decorations to the church, namely the now famous Boronese murals that decorate the church. These murals were painted by monks trained in this art style from the monastery at Boiron. The depictions going down the central axis of the church are all from various events in the life of Jesus and Mary and the transepts from the life of Benedict and Scholastica. Murals were put in between 1893 and 1897, as well as a lot of Victorian stencil work that you no longer see in the church. In 1940 or 1941, uh, Pope Pius XII elevated the church to the status of a minor basilica, minor basilica being an honorary title given to a Catholic church by the Pope. It was bestowed on the church to recognize its dignity as well as its artistic and historic significance. The Boronese murals that currently decorate the church are probably the finest example of Boronese art. They are copies of originals that were in the Amos Monastery in Prague, Czechoslovakia, and those originals were destroyed uh, during World War II. The church was in need of significant repair work, and a major renovation restoration was inaugurated between 1995 and 1999, and the results of that are what you see in the church today. In many ways, the church today looks much like it did in 1891, the original church. The church harkens back to the 1891 look, with, of course, the preservation of the murals. And as Abbot Frohen said, to this day, this is our center of worship for the monastic community and for all our apostolates and for our guests. Mm -hmm.